From a Web2 guy perspective, Web3 is always going to be relying on Web2. You are going to have this smart contract, you are going to have these blockchains, but obviously blockchains need to be run in some servers. As you say, you will need uh, web pages, you will need some external databases and even users management, depending on what you are doing. There are some solutions, I believe, that are happening in Web3 to fix all these problems. But at the end, what I found is that all at at least today all Web3 companies are still relying on Web2 services, traditional services, and therefore it's very, very important for a Web3 company to also check all the Web2 infrastructure they rely. Code repositories like GitHub, they still need this, and as you may know, a lot of uh, API keys may be leaked here. So this is a very good entry point for a Web3 company from a Web2 perspective.